All right, I'm going to do a little uh, video update. And the reason is, is I went ahead and made all my intermediate cables. These are all one aught uh, cables that will be going in between the six volt batteries in here. So those are all made at 10 inches a piece. And a little update of what I've got here. You can probably recognize that piece of copper there. That is a, a little over an eighth, a little under a three sixteenths. I don't know what you'd call that. Nine thirty seconds, you know. Um, this copper right here, and we're going to be using this for the six controllers that I've got. There'll be. Um, I've looked at the rating on this for thickness and all that, and and it's capable DC current up to eighty volts of uh, 145 amps so that this is and what we've got here is we've got three of these and we're going to connect the three the six the six 40 amp MPPT controllers to these which will be bolted in and of course you'll have the uh, terminals coming up and clamping all that down and um, that is pure copper, you can see there, pure copper, there's no tin or nothing in it. And that big 3 8 by 2 inch bus bar there, it's all being clamped into. And here is the stainless bolt that's coming through. And the big change that we've made here is on the back here. So what I've done is, now I took this material and I literally took a heat gun to it and got it up to over 450 degrees and it still would just barely start to flex good um, and I crimped it with a, uh, a pair of ice grips and then once it cooled off you couldn't tell where I'd hit it so the material itself was extremely durable uh, doesn't seem that it would deflect but what I've done is I took a a piece of 3 16 aluminum plate uh, and this is 6063 I believe and I put the aluminum plate drilled it on the back and put in washers and the original 3 8 bolts that are going through right here and that's allowing more clamping force now what I've got on the inside of that what I have on the inside of that is little stainless steel sleeves that are uh, they were kind of kind of hard to get on the threads, but they're 3 8 ID. I'm not sure exactly what the OD was, but I think it was about 7 16 And I cut them to length to go exactly this distance, so the clamping force will never deflect. No matter what, no matter how hot any of these terminals get, it will not lose clamping force. So what we have here is we have all our connections completely uh, full clamping force, a lot of wide flat surface, and you have this is your field, and this over here is the other field, and you can look in here and see where going back to the copper. Now, because of the, uh, the size of these bolts being five eighths of an inch, and sorry, I had to turn the light on in here on it. Uh, I'm going to be using a different process to hook this up because I'm running two inverters. One is a 3000 watt mean well, very high quality true sine wave. And the other one is a, um, quickly show you here. Um, the other one is this big in power 5000. Now, truthfully, it's, it's not a 5000 watt, it's a 4000 watt, but if you go to in power, everything they advertise is kind of bogus. But this is an extremely good quality inverter afterwards. You can look at some of my other videos and my other videos will show you this inverter um, being taken apart. Extremely high grade parts in this inverter. And, but this inverter along with a Meanwell 3000 uh, will be coming off of this system. Now the way that I have to design this to be able to handle this, as you can see all this is extremely high amperage capacity and we're going to be putting in um, and, and, and before I get all the nasty quotes and, and you know, terrible slang sayings or whatever uh, about aluminum with DC, there's lots of aluminum with DC. Go look in your car. But it's aluminum. Now, this is aluminum that's made for electrical current. And, however, this is designed for 
350, which is, I believe if I'm correct, 35 strands of 10 gauge um, MCM. So now what that gives us is a, in a welding wire, 350 MCM would give us about 620 amps of DC. We're going to actually be running a solid wire of four gauge looped in and out of these so that I have the ability when this cranks down for it to press down on the stranded wire that'll be coming from this going to one inverter which in the case of the 3000 mean well all I need is two watt because I'm only going about 10 inches to 13 inches and in the case of the uh, the other inverter I'm going about 15 inches so I'll be using three aught for that one now trust me it'll handle it just fine it's a very short run they rate those on 24 inches and the shorter the run the easier the carrying now we're going to be creating a 10 12 inch long bar of basically homemade 350 MCM and I'll show you that later that's going to run down and go to these now what we're going to be using is three-quarter type K pipe that I'm going to make into my terminal for this and it will actually be made and folded back and then drilled so when it cl clamps down it's going to more than handle uh, what these do you know so these are going to be how we're going to distribute the power and you can see if people say that doesn't work it doesn't work um, well it's been working now for six years okay and you can see what I've done with it so I mean yeah I monkeyed it up a little bit but I'll make it a little neater this time but this is working great great and you can probably see it in one of my other videos um, never had a problem with it so and using it everywhere and what I do is I just double back some real copper in there to where we have better clamping force for stranded wire and you can see how I made that one big terminal same thing out of three-quarter pipe that's just three-quarter soft copper and it's handled this it's ran its full load in fact I overdid it at about 7,000 watt hit uh, running a little more than I should have so so the fact of the matter is is that uh, this box is going to be that way and the other thing is on the battery box update is we are going to probably increase these to three inch not because it needs to be three inch but because it seems like all the fittings I can find that would properly vent it and a fan would be fit three inch so there gives you a little update and that's what we're doing to it you can see how all those flag uh, those flags right there are going to be used off of that uh, that copper bar set and I guess I can call this video 2.5 but it's basically just an update so you guys can understand how this is being set up and it's being set up for maximum pull using individual literally seven individual battery banks in one box instead of trying to just mass it all together and it'll carry much higher amperage more consistent delivery and i hope y'all like that how it comes out